Hi, Beth Colley here from the freedomplan.me and in today's video I wanted to share some tips on how to interview for a job. And uh, there's some common questions that get asked in many interviews and they're the types of questions that often trip people up. It makes them nervous, they're not sure how to answer them. And so what I'd like to be able to do today is uh, help you with the types of answers you should provide and uh, the best advice I can give you is to make sure you mentally prepare beforehand before an interview and um, I'll, I'm going to give you three examples of common behavioral interview type questions typically these are the types of questions that a human resources um, manager or administrator would ask you uh, as part of the pre-screening process so um, with knowledge on, on how to answer these questions and so a little bit of mental uh, practice or preparation, hopefully it'll calm your nerves and help you to feel more confident as you go into the interview process. Now these three questions I'm going to share with you aren't asked in every single interview, um, but they certainly are questions that um, people get nervous about or um, it, they, the answers that they provide um, may trip them up and actually um, blow the whole process for them. So the first question is, what are your weaknesses? If you've been on the job market at all in the past, you have heard this question before. What are your weaknesses? So really prepare for that ahead of time so that um, you're prepared with an answer that... Um, talks about a weakness but also how you overcame it and how you are now okay so um, if you gave an answer such as well you know I've got a short fuse and I get angry really easily with nothing else to your answer you're probably going to blow your interview um, so something more along the lines of um, you know I used to get uh, um, emotional when things wouldn't go right in my job you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a perfectionist and that's something I've really worked on over the last few years and now I'm able to maintain my calm and my cool in a high stress situation effectively. That would be a more appropriate way to answer that question. Or another example would be, um, you know, I, I tend to take on, take on more work than I can handle. And it's, you know, caused me in the past to be um, delayed with meeting deadlines. And so what you could say is I've, I've learned to prioritize tasks and set expectations for people up front when they ask me to take on a project so that no, there's no disappointments. So that would be a good way to um, answer that particular question. So hopefully that gives you some ideas. So think about how you would answer that question and, and how it might be received by the person you're interviewing with and see if you can come up with a way to answer that question that, um, you know, sells you as, as a potential resource for their company. Uh, the other question is, um, why did you leave your last job? Now, typical answer would be, well, I left my last job because I didn't feel like I was challenged, okay? I felt like I wanted um, more of a challenge. Um, be careful about answers like, well, you know, they weren't giving out any raises and I wanted to make more money. Or be careful about an answer such as, you know, I didn't like my boss or I didn't like my coworkers because that's going to give the impression that you're difficult to deal with or that all you care about is money. <laughs> and uh, of course they want employees that um, are interested in the work itself and enthusiastic about the work and not just the paycheck. Um, so uh, now where it becomes tricky is, you know, if in your job history, maybe you were fired from a previous job. And so these days companies typically can't uh, call any of your previous employers without permission from you. Um, so, and, and likewise, a previous employer, um, most 
in most cases with most companies, it depends where you live. But in most cases, an employer can't say, oh, yeah, we fired that person. Um, all they can confirm is, yes, that person worked here. <laughs> so um, I wouldn't worry about that question too much if somebody you know, asks you, why did you leave your, your previous employer? And it was because um, you were fired. Uh, that seems to make people nervous more than anything else. And um, uh, don't, because it will be difficult for them to get confirmation of that. So what I would suggest to you is that you answer that question um, saying that, you know, our, our goals weren't compatible any longer. And um, so it, it, you know, it was a mutual decision to move on something like that, um, you know, something generic in that regard. Um, that's probably the best advice I can give you. But if, if you left one job because, you know, you got an offer elsewhere, fair enough. That's, that's fine. That's uh, an appropriate answer. Um, and then the third question that people often get nervous about that trips people up is what salary you're looking for. So I always recommend to people that you provide the employer with a range, um, you know, whatever. If you're looking for thirty-five to forty thousand dollars as a salary, um, make sure it's fair for you, as well as competitive with what the market is offering. And um, I find it's a lot more comfortable for people to provide a range or to answer the question this way, to say, well, whatever you think is fair and competitive with the market, okay? That's another way because you employers never want, you know, want to hear that you're, you know, um, you know, money hungry for lack of a better term. Um, they're much more uh, enthusiastic about a, p a prospective employee if they're, they show enthusiasm about the role itself rather than the income they can make, okay? So hopefully these tips are helpful helpful to you. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Um, and uh, feel free to visit my link. Uh, now, I used to be a resume writer. Please don't contact me for help with writing your resume. I'm not writing resumes anymore because I've moved on to something else in my part-time uh, I'm working on building a business. If you want more information on what I'm doing, feel free to click the link that's around this video and you'll get more information. Have a great day.